So Brad had some shocks laying around and he threw them on for us. And if you notice, we've got a little, little Easter egg on them. So, um, he had those laying around, he threw them on for us. So thanks to him for that. We've got a lot of oil leaks with the motor. It essentially needs to come out and get front seal, rear seal, um, intake, the whole night. It just needs to work on sealing, minus head gaskets. Head gaskets are good. So that's gonna happen before Dirt Fest. Um, some of this wiring is gonna get cleaned up. So over here, this is our conglomeration of wiring right here. And it's a, a big mess, honestly. When I say a big mess, like it needs covered up. It needs basically ran through to protect it from the elements. So we're going to clean all that stuff up. Um, we're going to put a back cast firewall, aluminum firewall from about here down. We're going to do an aluminum roof. We got some trick tabs. We're going to get some sheet metal, do aluminum roof, um, go through front and rear diff. I mean, we, like I said, we've got a laundry list of stuff to do. So we're in mad prep. If you don't see some of the TJ and you see intermix of other stuff, that's because TJ is getting worked on in the background and camera's not always around while we're doing it. So um, it's been a fun one, but it's tiring. And I don't know what time it is, but we're out here late every week working on this thing. So hopefully it gets ready for Dirt Fest and we'll have a veteran ripping around in it on the short course. Welcome back to Recoil Outdoor. This is another episode with us out here in Brad's shop. So today we've actually been working on the TJ, trying to get it prepped for Dirt Fest coming up. Um, if you guys haven't been watching or following along, we're in mad prep of Dirt Fest. So um, we started planning Dirt Fest like six months ago and it has been a ton of work to get up until now. And the TJ alone is taking a lot. Um, Seth and Brad have both been working a lot on it. We're changing steering angles, we're resealing the motor, redoing seat brackets, putting in a rear firewall, um, steering column. Like we've got a whole laundry list of stuff that's gotta happen to it before Dirt Fest. The reason we say before Dirt Fest is we are putting a veteran behind the wheel to race this TJ in the obstacle course. So if you're a veteran and you wanna race the TJ, apply so all the links are in the description and also on our facebook page so feel free to go check that out um so i kind of want to talk dirt fest a little bit we've had a lot happen since we started planning like i said six months ago we came up with the idea of dirt fest and we want it to be an annual event where we include veterans we include the public we get a bigger outreach build our brand and basically get more people behind the wheel, more veterans, more first responders behind the wheel of off-road capable vehicles and just outdoors in, in general. So when I say outdoors, like we don't just focus on um, off-roading with the TJ and, and the Waggy and all our off-road stuff. We also do stuff like Mud and Mocha Monthly, which is our monthly meet and greets, come out, meet the crew. We have our meetings at the same time, um, networking and everything with other off-roaders that are like-minded. At the same time, we're also putting on hikes. So um, March 23rd, we're putting on a hike at the, oh, it was Wolf Caves or something like that. You can find the event in our Facebook, um, I, I, but it's a family hike. So everybody, it's free to go. We're meeting up, leaving the parking lot at 7 a.m. and we're headed out to hike the whole day. And then uh, we're also doing some kayaking trips during the summer and come springtime we're really wanting to hit the water and we may end up going to mulberry mountain or uh you know southeast oklahoma where it's really nice pretty clear water and uh, make all that happen so definitely be following along on all of our mission stuff we're not just dedicated to off-roading whereas that is our bread and butter that's what we all enjoy the outdoors as a whole is our mission so um watch as we definitely get into all that stuff as far as Dirt Fest goes, sponsorships, we need to set a deadline of April 1st for silver package and up sponsors. So if you want to donate, it's all tax write-offable, whether it's product or monetary. Right now we have enough product for the most part. We're, we can have a little more for the auction, but 
We're looking mostly for monetary. Being that we're a newer nonprofit, all of this is coming out of our pockets, and I myself has sank 15 grand into this, and not counting all the other guys behind the scenes that have sunk a ton of money into this and time and effort, and we can't do it without everybody that jumps in. So our event right now, we've set a budget, and we didn't even set the budget. It was like, we need this stuff, and this has to happen. Um, we're at $17,000 and going over that a little bit. So we need quite a bit still. We've had several donors already, but um, we're, we're looking at like the $500 ranges for those. We need a couple of uh, big dogs to step up and be title sponsor. We, we have a big sponsorship package available. So um, tons of marketing opportunities there. Seth Fox, the one that's always holding the camera for us, does a phenomenal job and he will be your go-to guy whenever you sponsor us. So he will be doing a <laughs> a, uh, a a full package for you, the works. So uh, a promo video and marketing talk when we're out there doing Dirt Fest, and it, the works, you'll, you'll have it made. So get on our website, donate, let us know you did. Honestly, we'll get an email, but let us know what it's for so we can make sure you're, you're up there. Um, We've had a lot of questions regarding the Overland competition for Dirt Fest. So in this Overland competition, everybody's welcome. Obviously everybody's welcome at Dirt Fest, but the competition is not so much an Overland competition as it is a cook-off. So the plan for the cook-off is to have a panel of veteran judges. Uh, when I say veteran judges, like actual military veterans, not just seasoned Overlanders. Um, and you guys are gonna bid on some spots and the judges are gonna judge your food. So um, that's that. Mini bike races are gonna happen Friday night or mini bike drag races. And then after the obstacle course on Saturday are dirt short course mini bike races. So if you wanna sign up for that, drop a comment or send us a message. The easiest way is to send us a message on Facebook letting us know you wanna enter for the mini bike races. That way we can 100% make sure we get to you. Um, the veteran camp out. So if you're a veteran, we're catering to you. You are our mission. Um, we're doing a veteran only camp out for Dirt Fest. So you'll have VIP access, free entry into the, uh, the event and you're participating in everything we do. So if you're, if you're a veteran or first responder and you want in on that, go to our website, fill out the Dirt Fest application or the, uh, the veteran application and comment Dirt Fest so we know that you're gonna be there. Um, obviously you will have furthermore into the program and we can get you set up for other stuff as well, but that at least gets you there. Um, yeah, we'll have music, li live music Friday night, um, Saturday as well. We're also doing an auction. So if you're a company that wants to donate to our auction, we're doing a silent auction during Dirt Fest events um, on Saturday. So um, vendor row, you'll see our, our auction going in through there. Um, I'm excited about a lot of the, the vendors that are coming out, honestly. We've got guys like uh, Brotherhood, um, Beyond Brotherhood, they're gonna be there. They put on Rut 22 every year. I'm excited about them being there. Um, so. With that said, Dirt Fest is like, it's not something small to put on an event like this. And so we do Dirt Fest and a way to uh, get more of an outreach and, and pour into other people than just ourselves and, and the veterans around us. This is a way for the, the men and women that feel like they should have enlisted or and didn't get the chance to or, or they were medically discharged because of some reason right before they went to basic or even at basic and they just feel guilty like there's a lot of people that feel guilty you don't have to feel guilty for not enlisting it, if it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be but if you have that feeling this is your chance for you to come out and show the support and 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 back the guys that were able to go over there and and, and make shit happen so definitely come out to Dirt Fest, show some support, come out to our monthly Mud Mocha events. Um, everybody's welcome. When we say um, our mission is to help veterans, a lot of what we do is behind the scenes. Not everybody sees it. It's a lot of private one-on-one -on -one type stuff. And like right now we're in Brad's shop just bullshitting and, and fixing the TJ and, and mad prep. 
but we're building the commodity and the relationships there. And that's what a lot of people don't see behind the scenes. Um, so if you want in with recoil, that's the way to do it. Come help us out, come to our events, our events, come show your support and, and let us know that you want to be a part of something. Um, that's all I've got right now. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all the things, they all make a difference. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one.